So you're torn. You're looking for a new action camera, and you're really wondering, hey, Andre, what do you think about the GoPro Hero 12 versus the Osmo Action 4? What's my opinion about which camera I would get after having both of these cameras for a while now? Well, you want to know what my opinion is? It may shock you, or maybe it won't. Well, that's coming right up. <laughs> So as you saw in my previous video, we talked about the GoPro Hero 12 and what I recommend getting it. And, you know, in that video, I talked about the HDR. I really like the HDR video that comes out of the 12. But if it wasn't for the HDR and me being someone that actually just wants the best image quality possible, would I get the 12 if it didn't have the HDR? No, I wouldn't. I would just stick with the 11 to be happy. And I would have saved myself 400 bucks plus tax uh but now we're talking about gopro hero 12 because there's a lot of you that are still on the fence and i just don't know man that's a lot of money i mean 400 dollars plus tax which one should i get so i will say that when it comes to the gopro hero 12 or the action 4 there's some pros i think that the log footage that comes out of the gopro hero 12 is not as much of a flat log profile as what we're used to, those of us that actually use log, like on the Sony cameras, I use S-Log3, but it's not as flat as a picture profile as what the DJI Action 4 is in this D-Log M. I find the D-Log M to be much better. When it comes to stabilization out of both of these cameras, I give the slightest, and I mean the slightest edge to the GoPro Hero 12. But I will say that the Action 4's image stabilization is phenomenal. We saw that with the original Osmo Action 1 when it came out. It was groundbreaking. I mean, you could sit there and do this with the camera and the image just stayed nice and flat. And that was before horizon leveling was even something talked about with GoPro. So the Action 1, I guess I can call it the Action 1, just the Osmo Action version 1, was a great camera. But here we are now with the, you know, the Action 2 came out. I wasn't fond of that body style at all. There was a lot of reviews of people that were hating on it because of its overheating and this and that. And I chose, you know what, I'm not going to get onto that train and review that because a camera that I don't like buying cameras and re and returning them. This, I think that's bad karma because if you buy a product and you return it, it hurts the retailer, it hurts the manufacturer, and it's just us, the consumers, that have to kind of eat the cost of that. So, but if I bought a camera as a consumer and I didn't like the quality of it, of course I set it back. But for review purposes, I don't like to buy something and return it. So the the action two. I didn't like, a lot of people love it, don't get me wrong. For me, I didn't like it. The Action 3, as you well know from a lot of my videos, and if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link to uh, a couple of them up here and down also in the description talking about the focus issue. And I wasn't the first one that talked about the post focus issue, but I was definitely one of the first ones that noticed it and started talking about it, and I was putting up comparisons. The DJI Action 4, uh, it is everything, in my opinion, that the Action 3 should have been. I mean, honestly, everything about this camera, the 4, is what should have been on the 3, and DJI would have never had to release the 4. But, let's talk about image quality. So we have 5.3K on the GoPro Hero 12, we have 4K on the Action 4. We have a larger sensor on the Action 4 than what's on the GoPro Hero 12. Build quality, I am going to say, I mean, when you feel the weight of it just in your hand, the Action 4 has a little bit more weight to it and it feels a little bit more substantial. So GoPro, they added in the little fingers here on the bottom with the quarter 20, which is very nice. But then again, there was an aftermarket for that that actually supplied those fingers with a quarter 20. But they added that. They took away the GPS module. A lot of people were upset about that. Totally understand that if you need the GPS overlay. 
Time code on the GoPro Hero 12. Time code now on the Action 4. So for those of you with multi-camera shoots, you can have time code, which is very, very nice touch. I think that when it comes to mounting, even though this one now has the quarter 20 on the bottom of the GoPro Hero 12, I like the magnetic mounting of the Action 4 much better than the mounting of what's on the 12. When it comes to usability, this is going to be a big one. Now, if you're part of that GoPro ecosystem and you've already worked with GoPros and you don't mind the fingers, thumb screw and these little fingers that come down, if you don't mind any of that, then you may want to just stick with the GoPro. If you're a first time user of an action camera and you want to get the best thing possible and you've got $400 plus to spend and you're kind of stuck between these two, do I get the Action 4? Do I get the GoPro Hero 12? From a usability standpoint, I'm going to give the advantage to the Action 4. I think usability wise, when it comes to its menu system, it is so easy. Touch screen is so nice on it. You can adjust the microphone level. And yes, you don't have to use the GoPro brick. So on the GoPro Hero 12, you have to either use the brick or you got to use the media mod to get uh, good audio out of it. Yes, it does have Bluetooth where you can use your ear pods as a microphone, but don't use the ear pods. They sound terrible with the GoPro Hero 12. With the Action 4, now it's just a USB-C and you can use a little Boya cable. I'll put a link in the description down below to the Boya cable, but now you can plug in anything wireless microphone you can plug in hard mic you can put it into uh, like the small rig cage that i have and put a small little shotgun microphone up on top so those are a couple of ways to improve the audio i think audio when it comes audio out of camera for both of these i think the audio is very comparable i'll give the slightest edge to the dji action 4 because to me, it just sounds a little bit better, a little bit more true to life. So they both have forward-facing screens on them, which is great from a blogging standpoint, and you want to be able to frame yourself up correctly. But if you remember, it was DJI, the Osmo Action 1, that first introduced the forward-facing screen on it. And GoPro kind of came up, and they followed up on the GoPro Hero 9 and added a front screen. The difference is the front screen on the GoPro Hero 12 is not... A touch screen. The Action 4, it is a touch touch screen. And you can change everything on it via the touch screen. So it's a nice little added touch. And for those of us that like to be able to control the camera from the front instead of having to flip it around, having a front touch screen is a nice deal indeed. And I'm not a DJI fanboy and I'm not a GoPro fanboy. I just tell you the cameras that I like and when I look at both of these cameras and I say okay I'm gonna go out for shooting some b-roll or have a C camera what camera am I gonna grab first or if I want to do some vlogging what camera am I gonna grab first I'm gonna grab the action for battery life is better I like the mounting system better I like the wider field of view i think the colors on the action 4 are more true to life than what they are on the gopro hero 12 but that is just my opinion if it were me which one would i get in 2023 if i had 400 dollars in my pocket ready to burn and i want to get the best action camera possible in 2023 for me i'm going with the action 4 that's just my recommendation i'll put a link in description below to both of these cameras so but then again it's your choice It's you the viewer that watches so I can only give you my opinion I can show you video clips and video examples and I can tell you why I think certain ways about a certain product but it's you the viewer that has to sit there and say you know what Andre says that the action 4 is more true to life but I like to punch your colors on the GoPro that's fine you like to punch your colors that's the way to go i'm just here to give you my opinion on products and whether that they're worth it or not i think that you can't go wrong with either one of these action four that's what i choose so tell me in the comments down below what do you think about 
which camera that you would get. Would you get the Action 4 or would you get the Hero 12? I'm really curious to hear what your response is. And as always, I'll catch you in the next review. Bye-bye.